Let's get it back. You ready? <laughs> I was always told it's not the destination, but the journey that really makes a trip. But that's never been more true than now. We put our lives in danger, got to experience nature, drove for hours on end, and made many new friends along the way. This trip was about seeing four dead presidents poorly carved into a giant rock, but it soon became much more. This is The Average Man's Adventures, and today we're going to Mount Rushmore. Let's go. I'll wait for them to pass. Is it recording? Yep. I was being crushed, I had to move back, sorry. It feels illegal to be able to ride a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you guys say? Oh, uh, yeah, it's okay. Let me ride over to the other side. What the fuck is he like? Alright, focus up. <laughs> you moron! It was in neutral. After the best 20 minutes of Knox's life, the time had finally come. We are picking up the bike from Big Barn Harley-Davidson. but with almost zero hours of street riding experience for Knox, we had to take baby steps, which is why I immediately took us onto the interstate. Get a Royal Enfield. You get a new one. I saw Dang. one. I saw one at Ditton. It was really nice. They were asking like eight thousand dollars. I was like, no, dude. What are you talking about? I gotta drive it to Dallas. Yeah. Who are we paying stupid money? I see brand new ones like for six, 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 six. Yeah. I need to pay off my car first. We're trading your car and buy a brand new Harley. <laughs> 20000 I had the Beamer for a month. That's the thing, I don't really like see a purpose for my Camaro anymore. Mm. I had the Camaro for fun. But now if you're going to right. take the T-tops off. Mm -hmm. But now it's like I'm already having fun out in the air. The open air. I'll tell you what, the wind would hit me like when the semi drove by and I could feel the wind like... Hey, I was like, oh man, that's crazy. And you got a heavy bike. Imagine on mine. Yeah. It's like, did you notice when you drive in the cracks on the expressway, it like throws you around? Yes. It's, it's so, so scary. Annoying, I know. 
That's why I tried to avoid him. Mm. Wow, it feels like a fever dream. Get ready, this is just the beginning. I know, right? And now we get to do the headset and listen to music and stuff. Did you, were you doing that? Were you listening to music? It's pretty good. At higher noise, it kind of distorts, but it gets a lot louder than my last one. We're good. I'm going to communicate. Oh, I'm ready. Let me finish up. Let me finish this up. Oh, I meant I'm ready for the trip. Not okay. ready to go. Yeah, the mute deal. Um, I'm, I cannot believe how well it was. Even him was like, you can't make a fucking good day. Yeah. Now, tomorrow like, people are coming. Yeah, even if I came tomorrow. Yeah. He was a cool guy. His eyes, something about his eyes. I didn't pay attention. I wasn't looking deep into his eyes. I wasn't looking deep into him, but he had like... An astigmatism? No, like... You know when people have like... I don't know how to describe it. Like non-NPC eyes. Like he was a real person? Yes. <laughs> There's not many of them out here. Well, I like impromptu photos. I don't want people to be taking pictures of them. Oh, he did the classic. I ain't gone, Jews want these. Oh my god. <laughs> and he took one picture and was like, let me take another. Uh -huh. And he didn't take a picture the second uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. So saved by the bell. It is kind of hard to use, though. Sometimes the, the button doesn't do anything. You gotta, like, focus at first. Is that black? Yeah. That's what you like. I know. <laughs> Finally, we hit the road one and a half hours later than planned. Hopefully this doesn't become a running theme for this trip. Our first stop on this journey was to Defiance Harley-Davidson in Omaha, Nebraska, but of course we had to make a quick pit stop. We ended up in Elkhorn, Iowa, home of the Danish windmill. Here is where we met our first friend of the trip, a Danish man named Beaner who was born and raised in town. He told us stories of how as kids they would play hide and seek around town, hiding in some of the buildings or some barns. He even showed us his Danish birth certificate from the early 1930s. After Knox bought one of his hand carved pencil holders, he asked us what year we were born and then proceeded to give us a coin. This is the 1999 half dollar he gave me. With the storm quickly drawing near, we told Beaner our goodbyes and then hit the road. Why does she sound like you? <laughs> the lady singing. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> it feels so dangerous. Um, I need to put in the map. It is 14 minutes away. Alright. Headed there. My... All right. Back on. It's all submerging into one lane, so now I have to get over. 
Now nah, we're good. Don't, don't worry about it. Let Papa handle it. You're a hot animal. You call me daddy in the time. You like it, I don't smoke it. Like, how do you get away with that? Oh, because there's construction on The hazard light on it. The hazard light? Mm -hmm. Turn it off? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why did you get so close to it? <laughs> Figure something else out for this. I lost my sunglasses. How? <laughs> no way. Oh, that's unfortunate. They were a doll. After our stop at Harley, it was time for lunch. The first street we stopped at in Omaha was riddled with homeless people in wheelchairs, and as soon as we walked away from our bikes, they rolled up looking at our gear. We weren't sure if we should stay parked there, so we quickly got back on our bikes and rode in horrible downtown Omaha. We ended up settling on Pickleman's. Are you recording? <laughs> well, I just started right now. You need to say it again. Um, are you recording? Yeah. Say that, that again? We need to redo the conversation. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say it. This town sucks. <laughs> did I hit the line? <laughs> well, you did until you asked if you hit it. We'll just cut that part out. Yeah, it sucks really bad. It's a pretty city, but. The <laughs> people. <laughs> The people ain't British. Well, I just imagine every place you live just looking like Columbus. <laughs> Want a cookie? No. Oh, a bite. Nobody yeah, have it. You got enough? Yeah. Thanks. That's a weird taste. I like the Subway cookies. I like those though. I like how squishy they are. They're just squishy. They're just squishy. Yeah, but they're thin. You see through it. I like my girls like I like my cookies. 
under 20. <laughs> Skinny, thick, chewy, crunchy. Yeah, that's been cut. Oh! <laughs> I'm trying to add it. Are we gonna cook tonight? We have to get that uh, that stuff in Sioux, right? We're gonna get tent, sleeping bags. <laughs> we weren't ready for this. <laughs> We're so far behind. I mean, it doesn't help that we left. Two hours late. Yeah. We did like the hour detour in Dutch Town. I think it really took an hour. Probably. We get to Sioux City. It's two hours, you said? Two hours. Get there at 6 30. Get our Leave by 7. We had the campsite by 8.30. <laughs> Are you will be there by 9. I don't know. <laughs> or late. <laughs> We're driving in the dark. Yeah. I'm sorry. For sure. I'm gonna go fill so up. And then and then <laughs> But this is the biggest our biggest leg of the trip, right? Right. Sure. Okay. I don't know. I think there are people. <laughs> Again, we took way too long and left late, but we are finally on our way to Sioux City to pick up our camping gear. Like Monsters Inc. I've never seen that movie. You've never seen that movie? I have, but I figured me saying I'd never see it would mean you'd accept me not knowing it. Yeah, I think that's ridiculous as they say you've never seen it. <laughs> it's something. Ooh, nice, you don't have to pay for it. I can pay for that. <laughs> Seven minutes, it's right there, nice. This is like like that. Thanks, son. Yeah, that's fine. Completely different. I know. That's crazy, dude. It feels like I'm gonna fall over the front of the handlebars. <laughs> Your hazard lights are so stupid. What do you mean? They don't work. Yes, they do. <laughs> you look like you don't even know what you're fucking doing. I liked riding yours. It feels really good. I like yours. It was like just leaning back, just chilling. Yeah, it's definitely just like... Just like you're there. 
things about yours though, I feel like I hit a bump and I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely tell by the Peace look of it. It's the way it's distributed a yeah. lot different. Yeah, you almost left my key in there. <laughs> Have you get caught in the wheel? Yeah. Oh my god. Can you help me one second? Yeah, what do you need? I I have to like this is like a two man job. I have to hold this close and I need you. I think that's it. Brother, I don't think this stuff's going anywhere. <laughs> don't look like it. Can you put the towels in your backpack? Like, come on. Like, come on, I'll try. Backpack. Tight. That sucks. We can't, like, roll them up and, like, put them in the, like... I mean, I'm just saying I'm doing a lot over here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm doing a lot. <laughs> I can do this. That's what I was thinking. No, you were thinking of my backpack. No, no. Well, that was the first thought. <laughs> I was just trying to get you thinking. To find a solution. <laughs> but why would I do it when I could just have you? <laughs> I mean, we could have put the towel somewhere. You didn't say you needed them. Have you mule it around? Yeah. I'm thinking have it right here on the back. I mean, if you want to switch bikes, that's fine with me. That's not what I'm saying. Ooh, the hot dogs are actually looking pretty nice. They don't look that smashed. I mean, honestly, I should have just stuck the chicken dogs in like my engine and have them cook them in there. <laughs> And tin foil. Are right, you ready for gas? Yeah. Let me get a picture of the bikes and all the stuff. Hey, wear your hat. Yeah. Looks good on me. It's too tight for my giant head. Make sure to get the whole clump also. How exciting. I know, right? How exciting. I really hope this don't fly off. I can't believe you didn't bring ratchet straps. <laughs> I should have made you do it. The ratchet straps, they're too much. I don't like them. There's just a lot. Next time I'll make you bring my ratchet strap. I'm a bungee type of guy. I think I could do anything with a bungee. I don't trust, I don't trust a bungee for a second. Well I do, pal. <laughs> it's all right. We don't gotta tell. <laughs> he was a hero. <laughs> we need more men like him today. <laughs> the showers are like prison showers. That's the way Chief Lake, Chief White Lake, liked it. <laughs> yes, sir, Chief White Lake. Yes. Sir. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> don't drop the soap. <laughs> Come on, Chief White Lake. 
now, the power of commercial free propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. And of course, one of our rules that we set for ourselves before we left is that we weren't going to ride in the dark. But as soon as we entered into South Dakota, it looked like we were going to break that rule on day number one. Do you ever think you'd take a trip like this? Yep. Yeah. Not I never, this young. Huh? Not this young. Yeah. I never thought I'd ride a motorcycle. Me either. Well, I mean, I knew I always would, but like, also was like, nah, I never really will. Because I'm a Because when my dad got one, my mom like made us promise, like, don't ever get a bike. I told her, like, yeah, I don't want one. Yeah, same thing. My dad's like, I remember him, I remember when I was like, starting my job, I was like, I think I want to get a bike, and he was like, <sighs> Are you he, sure about that? He's like, he's like, probably don't do that. I'm like, man, you ride all the time. He goes, yeah, I'm just do you ever ride his? How much longer? I'm ready. How much longer? I'm ready. Is my light flashing? It is actually. How much longer? I'm ready. How much longer do we have on the drive? <laughs> Doggy Kong. I was like firewood. He goes. Uh... Oh, we just wanted firewood. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you got firewood at home? I think we'll, I think we'll be fine. What do you think? How bad do you want to fire? Chestnuts roasting on an open flame. Mine's my own. Chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting on an open flame. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Is my light flashing? <laughs> Eventually we made it to our camping spot in Chief White Crane Recreational Area where we were supposed to fish but because of how dark it had already gotten we decided just to cook and then get some rest for our travels tomorrow. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I can't believe we made it. I really can't believe it. No one died. No one died yet. Fair enough. 
I say we get this fire roaring. I say that's a good idea. <laughs> you asshole! Are you kidding me? You are watching a master at work. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically was like, I should probably tell him not to just smack it because it might fall over. Like, no, he'll, he'll probably not. Okay. I'm not the brightest. Alright, here you go. Okay, so, where's the. Where exactly is it? I thought the lighter fluid would just blow up. I thought so too. I'm also not good at this. Are you seeing any sparks? <laughs> How'd you get it big the first time? Oh. He's gotta be violent. I was gonna bring a lighter also, but I forgot it. Need more lighter fluid? I think we need to get the little stick started. I'm gonna go chop okay. some woods, wood to get be some small. Tiny yeah. I'm gonna, you want me to leave this here? No, good. What we got going over here? My my <laughs> oh yeah. Trip so far? Uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's burnt. Pretty good. Not too bad. Can you dance again? Huh? Dance. <laughs> you can't. You can't see me do stuff and then be like, do that again. <laughs> That's good stuff right there. All right, let's get a little tour of the, of the campsite. Got the bikes here. Had some rain last night, so I'm drawing off my seat. The tent, the campfire, the restrooms. A little tour of the tent. Today we're headed all the way to Mount Rushmore. Gonna stop in Sturgis first, hit the Harley Davidson. Um, then yeah, off to Mount Rushmore. Wish us luck.